Welcome to this video interview on Oncology Central. Today we are with Marcus Knoll from the University of Rochester Medical Centre. Thank you for joining us today, Marcus. Thank you for having me. Thanks. So could you please briefly introduce yourself? Sure. So uh, I am a medical oncologist at the University of Rochester Medical Centre. My clinical focus is in GI cancer and my research focus is in drug development and pancreatic cancer. Okay, lovely. Thank you. So. It was recently announced that you, the US FDA has accepted the investigational new drug application for Ariaspase. Could you let us know your thoughts on this? So this is a very exciting initial milestone. Um, this means that uh, the company will be able to move forward with development of this compound in the United States. Um, so definitely an exciting initial start. Fantastic. So following this IND acceptance, what are the next steps for the Tribeca 1 trial in the US? Sure. So the next steps will be for each individual uh, site to um, uh, obtain IRB approval mm -hmm. and open up uh, the st study at their respective institution. And then from there, we'll be able to begin enrolling patients at each site. Okay. So could you tell us what's your um, interest in the Tribeca 1 study? So Tribeca 1 is a really exciting uh, phase 3 study that we'll be enrolling mm -hmm. uh, internationally. Um, so looking forward to that, that trial uh, in the second line combining aerospace with chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. I believe there's an un, uh, a, a open space, an unmet need there for potentially drug development. And so um, looking forward to the results of that, that study. Okay. Could you tell us about your thinking behind the phase 1 studies that you're leading that is investigating aerospace in first line pancreatic cancer? Sure. So the Tribeca 1 trial is based on a uh, phase 2 experience um, where there was a uh, survival benefit that was significant in the second line of pancreatic cancer. And so uh, the study that I've designed is a first line study, which will be combining uh, chemotherapy in a similar fashion, but slightly more aggressive with aerospace in the first line. Uh, the rationale that there was a, a potential signal of efficacy in the second line and so if we bring this into the first line, it may be even more robust. Okay. The study will be designed uh, primarily for safety, uh, but also to look at an early signal of efficacy. Okay. And then can you give us some background behind the concept of altering metabolism in order to treat pancreatic cancer? So pancreatic cancer is a disease that uh, it, it thrives in an environment that is nutrient deplete. And so the pancreas cancer cells have to otherwise thrive in a harsh environment mm -hmm. and they use alternate mechanisms of metabolism in order to survive. And so if we're able to dysregulate that metabolism, there may be a potential impact on patient outcome. Okay. So what talks are you looking forward to at ASCO this year? So I'm really excited about this year's ASCO. Mm -hmm. uh, for the first time in, in, in many years, the, as long as I can remember, mm -hmm. there will be a plenary discussion mm -hmm. uh, on a uh, phase three trial in pancreatic cancer, focusing on the BRCA mutated population. And so that's going to be really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, those results will be coming shortly. Uh, in addition, there will be a few other uh, publications uh, on BRCA mutated pancreatic cancer uh, that are really exciting. And the field is moving in the direction of targeted therapy. And so I'm excited about those studies. Uh, one additional study is an adjuvant study in pancreatic cancer, uh, exploring a two-drug combination in the adjuvant setting. Okay. And so that will be presented tomorrow as well. Okay. Do you have any closing comments that you'd like to add? Um, well, thank you for having me uh, today. And we're looking forward to, to the upcoming Tribeca trial over the next few years. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us today, Marcus. Thank you for having me. Thanks.